little bit later in the day already that I like to get up and get started going, but I was just laying, laying, laying. Like, you know what? I don't want to drink caffeine this late, but I'm going to have to do it because it's the only way I think I'm going to be able to kick back into, you know, what I need to be. I don't know if I'm going to cook tonight. I kind of, there's just, um, I know I'm supposed to be eating healthier. I was supposed to start that yesterday Ooh, after the weekend, but there's this um, little chicken restaurant that I want to try that I'm like thinking about like, you know what, tonight would be the perfect night to have that. So this coffee is hitting the spot. It's hitting the spot right now. Okay, I'm about to start um, basically finishing the laundry and finishing the kitchen. I'm gonna turn on some music and finish watching some YouTube videos. That's what I like to do. That helps me clean. Like I just know um, when I clean, I'm gonna watch YouTube. So it's like, oh well. What's it called? Habit stacking. I actually learned the name of that while reading the book. I'm reading Atomic Habits. He's like pair a habit that you don't like to do with a habit that you do like to do. So whenever you do that, you kind of not look forward to it, but you know, not make it as terrible. But I already do that anyway. So I'm not trying to make myself like, okay, well, if you're going to watch YouTube videos, you need to be cleaning. If you're going to watch YouTube videos, you need to be cleaning. You don't need to just be sitting around watching YouTube. So I'll do that when that's why I'm so behind watching YouTube because I haven't been, I haven't been on my stuff. So I'm just gonna throw on some clothes real quick. Right, I'm just gonna put on this like little fake band tee from Pretty Little Thing. I feel like I'm gonna be hot, but I'm not gonna be. I'm just literally gonna go get food and come right back home. And then I'm gonna have on these yoga pants from Airy American Eagle uh, brand or whatever offline. I'm gonna just wear my Amazon like those comfy pillowy Amazon slides. Y'all know the slides. Just because I want to be comfortable and I don't even care about being cute, obviously. So, yeah. I want to just clean. The, I still got to go finish cleaning the kitchen and stuff. And we'll see. I might just wake up in the morning and just take a walk or something instead of going tonight because there's still some things I want to do around here. Like, if you could see this, everything, like... I just need to get my life together. I'm actually not about to wear the shirt because, you know what? No. This looks stupid. It's just too baggy and homely where I'm not about to wear this. I don't really like wearing black and blue together either, but black, blue, and gray, that's just what we're going to have to do today. <sighs> I'm hot. Um, but I'm, I'm going a little bit because I did just get done doing my skincare. I think I'm going to lay down my edges just a little bit because... No, because no. I see some edge control. There we go. Just a little. Just a little, please. Oh, the back of my head looks crazy too. I hate this edge brush. This blue one. Hate it, hate it, hate it. No, I don't tell you about what you did. If you told me, I'm gonna rest. So we got back from CM Chicken. That's where we went, and it was really good. Like that was one of the like best new restaurants that we've tried recently. Cause mm, recently restaurants just haven't been hitting like that, but it was good. <laughs>
Honestly, because I forgot and was like kind of just in a rush to like get in the shower because I just really wanted to get in the shower. But I could have did one afterwards, but. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, we're going to be continuing our little reset today. I already kind of planned my day, so that's good. I decided I'm not going to work out this morning. I'm going to work out tonight. Only because I took a shower so late last night and I just don't want to take one like right away. So I'm going to actually clean this morning instead of cleaning tonight. So I'm just flipping those things to those two things around in my routine. So I'm going to go clean the bedroom. Um, I might clean my room a little bit too, but we'll see. Tomorrow, I, um, like, the living room needs to be, like, all these clean clothes are on the couch now. The bathroom downstairs, the half bath, like, really, really needs to be clean. Like, that bathroom, it, we don't really use it like that, so I don't get the checkup on it like that to see, to see it. Cause, oh, I don't use it like that. So when I go in there and see it, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. I put up off the street. Put up, put up. Just put out, help me bleed. Hey, when I'm in that mode, I should pull up. I should pull up. That's who it is. Say something to me. Good at reach. Try to reach. Secret life. Leave alone and come back on your side. I completely folded and put it all the clothes away. Um, the bedroom is just like a few things on the floor and the dresser. Other than that, it's cleaned up. Um, but mostly just stuff from unpacking from the weekend and yeah, like trying on clothes and stuff for the weekend. But just wearing this little Target tank top that I got on sale for like up to three dollars and some Nike leggings. Or I'm just going to get dressed for working out tonight and just wear these clothes all day, work out, and then, yeah. So, it's like noon already. I'm ready, dressed for the day. But, um, 
it's pretty much lunch time so i think i'm gonna just warm up my chicken from last night you know i'm supposed to be eating healthier and i know i'm not supposed to be eating that but i'm not gonna let that stuff go to waste and yeah and i'm just not in the i'm not gonna be i'm not in the like depriving myself state right now like sometimes i do go through like um, moments where I'm like, okay, strict, I'm about to do a cleanse, I'm about to do this. This isn't one of those. I'm just trying to kind of low-key get back into the swing of things. So we're going to eat this chicken. I think this one was mine. No, it, maybe not. Maybe not. Nope, this one was not mine. Sometimes, did y'all, like, did y'all see how that moved? There's been, like, some weird incidences in here. I, I haven't spoke on it to anybody because I don't even want to speak life to it but I'm gonna I'm gonna speak it okay it's just been like especially when I'm here by myself like noises coming from like like knocks or like coming from rooms and stuff like that from here and I'm like okay I know no one else is here like I'll hear like a knock on a wall but it'll be like a room it's not like a, a shared wall that I share with um, another neighbor it's like a wall that just belongs to us I'm like, okay, I'm the only one here. My camera's about to die, so I'm gonna go upstairs to eat and change my battery and start reading my book. Okay, so I'm gonna make this real quick. I'm not gonna be in the store very long. I'm only gonna be in here for an hour. I, I don't even have to watch one. I'm gonna try to be in here for an hour at the most. Um, I'm actually supposed to be out of the store by 5 30. That's what my planner said today, but that's not gonna happen. It's 4 56. So, I mean, if I can get out of here by 5 30, I'll take it. Miracles do happen, but I don't think today's one of those miracles. So, let's go in here and just get what we need. We made it. We made it. We made it. So exhausted. But I made it. I made it to a late night workout. <laughs> oh, I do not like working out this late, but we got it done. I didn't even get to wash the dishes after I cooked dinner. I didn't even show y'all the finished product. But y'all saw me cooking it, so. <sighs> it, it literally just looked like a, um like a ghetto chipotle bowl but it was good it was good dinner was good um it's friday morning and i'm about to go get a workout in i'm just gonna go to the gym and do like 45 minutes on the elliptical i just been really focusing on cardio 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 like i don't know i just don't have time for anything else right now I have like no room on this memory card too. So I do want to go to the store today. Just I just want to go get another memory card. I just need more. These cabinets, like they stink to me. Like I can smell them. I don't know what they smell like. They just smell like old cabinets. Like that's the best way I can put it. When I moved in here, they replaced the doors with like the actual cabinets. They just painted. And they have like an odor to them and I can tell and it bothers the fuck out of me. Like it stinks. I, one thing about smells and shit like that, I do not like. I do not mess with. I need to hurry up. I don't even know where my little ball is at. Where's my little ball? So cute with some more of these. I don't like these big ones. My boyfriend, when we moved in together, he had these. 
like the little ones. I mean, I guess we can just drink like real protein shakes and stuff like that, but he doesn't even do that. Mm. I'm just gonna do the ghost bubblicious. It's, I don't, I just need to do everything. This is my, my boyfriend picked this out. I'm not a big bubblicious fan. Ghost is good though. My bubblicious. These are the new go-tos. If y'all got somebody that be snoring a lot, this is definitely what y'all need to get. Hey, you can't sleep. I'm about to, how many come in here? 26, so I need about one a month. I gotta buy about one of these every month. <sighs> Just got done with my shower after working out. So, I don't know, but since I'm not going to brunch, maybe I will go to the store today just to get some things that I need. Or I might just order them off Amazon if they can come today. <sighs> so I'm just going to find like something that's all done since we're not going anywhere. Or I'm not really going anywhere, but I might. So I got to find something to wear. Only thing about the set is that it's like kind of bleached up, which I freaking hate. So like all my like good clothes get like bleached up, but like my little Walmart stuff, perfect condition. Perfect condition with this stuff. I know. I forget where. Oh, there's like a small little bleach stain. I don't know if y'all can see it. I've had this stuff. This is like the first skim stuff that I ever bought. So I've had it for so long. I, I feel like I need to um repurchase a few things. Because I just had them since, I don't know, when skims came out. Like especially this dress. This is the first one I got, and it's just like kind of, it doesn't even snatch me as good as it used to. But anyway, I'm going to just throw this one and then figure out what I'm going to make to eat. Probably just going to make like a smoothie or something. Um, yeah, smoothie and is there something else that I wanted down there? I like there's something else downstairs that I want. Oh, an English muffin. I might make one of those too because I bought some of those. I'm going to go, well, right now I'm getting dressed. It's like 10 o'clock. I've been up for a few hours now, but I just kind of been laying around. I just ate like some yogurt and some pomegranate, made coffee. And I've just been like scrolling YouTube like all day. <sighs> so I'm like, okay, let me get up and get my day started. I am about to go vote. Oh, I'm like out of breath as usual. Um, I'm about to go vote. I just had ran upstairs, ran upstairs and downstairs because the FedEx guy was down there and he didn't, he didn't have the package when I opened the door. He was writing a note. So I'm like, he got to go back and get the package. Like, so you didn't even plan on leaving me my stuff. You just planned it on leaving it out. Anyways. So that's why I'm out of breath, but I'm, um, I was just about to get in the shower. Um, I got a face mask on right now. That's why my face, I don't know if y'all can tell, it's kind of like shiny, but we're going to go vote. And then I wanted to, there was something else I wanted to go do oh i have to come back home not go do i have to film a tiktok that i need to really really do that i should have been done honestly i've just been like so busy lately like i just haven't had any time to like get myself together my job has been scheduling me like crazy i, I shouldn't i should have never told these people that i quit my other job i should never i should have kept that to myself but now i know so since i quit my job they've just been scheduling me like crazy and it's like i'd never I never wanted to do that like I never want to work at a restaurant by four or five six seven days a week like that's never been um the life I want to live I haven't done that since college like oh yeah when I was like a a real server back in the day when I really like needed the money but now like I quit my job I'm just trying to, trying to take like a little break so when now they're scheduling me like crazy like no, that's never what I wanted to do. Like, the pay is never that good for me to be working here all the time. Like, it's a cute little check. It's a cute little, you know, I get my hair and my nails done with it. But it's never funding my lifestyle. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Um, So, I'm just like, they scheduled me Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I work a double Saturday. And I'm just like... So I only have one day off this week. I'm so annoyed. It will never happen again that way. I'm never working that many days in a row again. Like, I'm never working that many days. But anyway, so that's just like really frustrating me this week. So I don't have time to do anything. Um, it's 10 o'clock, so I'm going to go vote. I need to hurry up. Hopefully the lines aren't too long. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do like my real skincare routine and everything today. Because I haven't really been doing it. Like, I've just been like, ha haven't even had time to sit down and do a proper skincare routine. Like, I've just been washing, moisturizing SPF. But that's just not good enough for me. Like, 
I got a whole system going on. I haven't even had time to do. So I said, you know what? Today I'm going to do my whole skincare routine. And I'm going to go vote. I'm going to come back and do my makeup. Film this TikTok. Probably edit it tonight. Um, What else? Is that really all Like, that's like really I need to do? Yeah. I haven't posted on TikTok in so long. Not really so long. I don't even think it's been a week yet. But for me, that's a long time. Because I try to post often on there. Because that's like my favorite platform. But I actually have that do so by the time you see this video i'm sure the tiktok will be up so go like it it's the um armani lipstick video a little you know i don't want to say ugc moment because i guess it's technically not ugc since i'm posting it on my page but a little moment you know they sent me some lipstick so go check out that tiktok and go like it go comment and go support your girl so yeah um uh, i'm gonna do that today and that's really it. I wanted to go to, I was thinking about going to the mall. I want a new perfume. Like I've been just craving like a new perfume. And then I was on my um, YouTube studio, like analytics. And they have like a tab on there that like shows you like trending topics and stuff. So I was just like scrolling on there, just doing nothing this morning. And I saw that Louis Vuitton had a new perfume that people were searching up. So I'm like, hmm, I've been wanting a Louis Vuitton perfume. I mean, it might not be the one that people are searching up, but. I've been wanting one for a while, so I think I wanted to go up there and smell them. I looked it up, that specific perfume. I looked it up, and they it is in stock at the store, so I wanted to smell it first. I didn't just, I'm not blind buying no $300 perfume. I actually have done that once. I did blind buy Baccarat. I never smelled Baccarat before I bought it, but, I mean, it's amazing. Everybody loves that. I don't know one person who doesn't like that, unless you're just, like, one of those people, like, mm, I didn't want to smell like everybody else. I'm like, oh, girl, shut up. I just like shit like that is just like like girl shut up like I don't want to be like everybody else. I'm not I'm not like every other girl like oh bitch shut up so yeah but Baccarat smells so good like and if you don't like it you're just a hater anyways so I'm gonna go to uh, Louis Vuitton to smell some perfumes and I got a code for um the Sephora friends and family sale so I wanted to buy some stuff from Sephora but that doesn't start until Friday so we'll see and I think it lasts for a while so I might not go crazy on Friday I might just wait, you know, try to get myself some time to recoup because I'm trying not to just like shop like crazy anymore. I'm trying to like really like take my time with stuff. Like you don't have to buy everything at once. And I'm trying to like figure that out. And I, there's still so many things like around the house that I want to buy. Like oh, there's so many things around the house that I need still. Like since we moved in November, I just never was able to like get everything that I wanted. So I've been trying to get some things, especially just I want to finish my downstairs like really bad. So I did buy a lot of like house stuff. But I've been living here for a while, so I guess you could say I took my time with it. Yeah, but that's it for today. That's why I'm like, this vlog, probably, if it's like a weekly thing, I don't know. I'm not going to pop in and out here and there. But, um, yeah, I work, like, every fucking day. <sighs> it's just so annoying. Like, I don't. And this is why I left that restaurant before. Because I left, I went pick up only. Because I would literally work, like, 12-hour shifts. I would be there from opening 9.30 in the morning till... 9 30 at night and so because we would close at 11 so i wouldn't get cut to like 9 30 at night because they wouldn't have any other hosts and they just oh, child i don't know <laughs> i'm like i'm just getting too old for this shit and it's like it's not it's not like it's really doing anything for my life i mean it's 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 nice like i said like in my little extra money here and there but it's not like changing my life so i don't know how long we're gonna last there anymore <laughs> yeah so i don't even know how much film or film what how much memory i have on this memory card to film on because i just deleted the last vlog or parts of it off of here not even all of it so i should have a little bit more space now i'm like so i'm trying so hard to like look at the camera and not look over here but it's really hard because i just want to like make sure that i'm in frame but it looks so silly when i'm talking to the camera like this it looks so much better like this i'm sure <sighs> but yeah that's really it like that's just a little intro I don't know if I'm going to bring out with me when I vote. I probably will do a little here and there, you know. But I don't know if I'm going to talk to y'all again until... Oh, I did just get that package. I wouldn't go open that. I bought so much shit, too. Like, that's what I needed to do. I want to, like, put away all the stuff that I've been buying. And, like, I've gotten so much stuff in from Amazon. And then we went to, um... You know, you just need, like, a little 2J Max Marshalls run every now and then. But what did I just get? I'm not even going to flip the camera because this... It looks a mess out here. But it's really just a whole bunch of like new stuff that I need to put away. Um, that's really it. And when my boyfriend cooks, he doesn't clean the kitchen. So the kitchen's a mess because 
He won't wash the dishes. He won't wipe. He won't do nothing. So I got to clean the kitchen too, which is fine. It's whatever. Oh, it's his PlayStation. I thought it was something I bought. And I'm just throwing this thing around. Well, I guess I did. This is his birthday present. But his PlayStation was broken. We really don't know how that happened, but it just happened. But here it is. I don't know why I thought it was something I ordered, but it's not. This is boring. I don't care about this. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it there for right now. Yawn. Know, that was a big disappointment. Very anticlimactic. I'm like, what's this big package? Like, what did I get? I don't even remember. Boring ass PlayStation. Okay. Well, I'm about to hop in the shower. Well, I got to figure out what I'm going to wear today. I got to figure out what I'm going to wear to voting. I got to figure out what I'm going to wear while I film. And I got to figure out what I'm going to wear to work. And that's the thing, like, I don't even have enough clothes to wear. Just, I don't have enough, like, you have to wear, like, closed toe shoes and shit like that. <sighs> I'm out of breath again. I'm serious. Which is, like, okay, of course I want to wear tennis shoes because my feet be hurting. Like, my feet be, I got to stand for hours every day. Like, I'm, I'm so over this shit. Like, I can only work there two, three days off the week. Like, God's telling me six, seven, eight. I can't do that shit. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it again. <sighs> Like, damn, y'all need host that damn bad where y'all got to schedule me seven shifts, six days a week. I only get one day off. Like, from a restaurant? Like, this isn't even like, this is a restaurant. Who wants to be at a restaurant six days a week? Y'all aren't even, the, man, the people who schedule me, y'all don't even be there six days a week. I did my skincare. I'm running out of a lot of stuff, so I think I'm going to repurchase some things from when I get the Sephora sale going or decide to participate in that. Um, I need some toner. I need some eye cream for like the daytime. Right now I'm using the Pixie, which is like a, you know, go-to staple. And it, I got the small one. So it's pretty good. But I want something different. And then I've been using the Tula Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. This isn't really like a eye cream. It's like a, I guess like an eye balm. I don't know. But it's good. But I just need some like new stuff. So I'm going to get some of that. And there's a few other things on my list. I think Topicals came out with a new product that I wanted to try. There are just a few things. I wanted to get another Rare Beauty blush. That Hany, Hany um, shower and shower conditioner or something like that. I'm going to get that. So there's a few things that I wanted to buy. But anyway, I'm still getting ready. It's 1041. I wanted to be out of here by 11 o'clock, but... I don't know how that's gonna work i'm just like i just hate that i have no time to do anything like i have to start getting ready for work in a couple hours i'm just like really fucking irritated like oh, that's just so annoying so i just don't have time to ever do anything like anything i need to do i'm about to do these edges i need my hair done so bad and that's another reason like i'm irritated that i work so much because like i need my fucking hair done like I don't even like being outside when my hair is like this. And I do. I'm one of those people that try to hold on to hairstyles for a long time because I don't like getting my hair done. I don't like the process. And I just think it makes my hair grow when I just leave it alone. So I'll keep hair soft for a while. But once it starts getting old, I don't be wanting to be nowhere. I don't be wanting to be in the house. And when I have my, you know, regular 9 to 5, working from home most days of the week, it's fine. But the restaurant, I have to go in. I actually go in. Like, y'all got me working every day. My hair ain't done. Like, this is just so fucking irritating. Like, it'll just never happen again. I, 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 you can schedule. I mean, like, I, it can be scheduled that way, but I won't be showing up. Like, I'm not working that many damn days. Like, what? And I didn't even really, I was just work. I could do a whole, like, story about it. Like, I told, you know, one of my friends who worked there. Like, yeah, I quit my job. Like, you know, I just was over it. I was just over my nine to five regular job. I was just over it. And I just didn't have time to do anything that I wanted to do. <sighs> I don't know. I just can't even explain it. It was just like, ever since I turned 30, I just, I just hate doing things that I just don't want to do. Like if I don't want to do it, then I'm not going to do it. And I'm just not going to do anything I don't want to do anymore. If I don't want to do it, I'm not going to do it. And I just feel like God got me. God got me. God always has me. Things always work out, but then there's also a part of me that's like, I'm sick of things only just working out. Like, just working out. Like, oh, it worked out. I want things to start being, oh, my foot is just so bad. I'm trying to like scratch it on the carpet. I want things to be more than just regular. Like, I need shit to start really like getting great. 
So I need to start manifesting that. And I need to start seeing that instead of saying like, oh, everything works out. Like everything always works out for me because it, it really truly does. Like I always, things just always work out for me. But I think if I just start going harder and start manifesting things to be more than just working out, I think things will really start to change. So I'm trying to work on that and just, I don't know. So I just was like, okay, I'm just going to quit. And it's not like I can't go back and work for the for the state ever again. Like, it's not like I left like crazy. Like, I put my two weeks in, you know, everything's cool. So I, if I need to or want to, not even, because it's never going to be a need. That's just not the kind of person I am. But if I want to go back, I can. And I've definitely thought about it. Like, oh, let me save for this wedding, yada, yada, yada. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to take my summer off. I'm going to have a little break. I haven't had a summer off. Even in college, like every semester, I would go, I would take summer classes. Like I haven't had a summer off since junior year of high school because I even started college right after my senior year. I started college in the summer. So I haven't had a summer off since senior year. And most people, you know, get to enjoy their college summers, but I never got to. So I'm going to enjoy this little bit of summer. I'm going to, you know, look for some job. And I heard the job search right now is crazy. I heard looking for a job, getting a job is crazy right now. So I think around when September hits, that's when I'm like, okay, let me start looking and getting serious, get my LinkedIn together. My resume has been updated. I kind of wanted like a professional or something to look at it just to like revise it and stuff like that. So I'll, I'm going to try to hire somebody to do that, but I've updated it a few times and I don't know, I, I, I don't really have a problem getting interviews usually. My problem is the interview. So I feel like my resume would be fine, but I'm just not a good interviewer. I'm just not, like. And I just, I don't know. I could go into a whole rant about how I just feel like working is for me. I just hate having to, like, prove myself to somebody. Like, I know, like, I'm great. I know I can do the job. But, like, I'm trying to convince you that, like, I'm great and I can do a job. Like, it just feels, like, low to me. <laughs> I don't know. That probably makes no sense, but like, I just feel like I'm begging. Like, I feel like in interviews, you're like begging, like, oh, pick me because of this. please, please, please. Like, I just feel like it, it gives that energy to me. Like, I just really hate it. So, I don't know where life is going to lead me right now because, like, I don't know. I just don't have time to be just like, and even, I don't know. I don't know. And I just want, I'm not even interested in climbing like a corporate ladder or making that like my goal in life. Like, I just want to get this position. Like, that's just never anything that ever brings me joy like the process like none of it just that doesn't make me happy like that's not the kind of things that make me happy so I'm just not that kind of person as long as I have enough money to go shopping every now and then and pay my bills of course and get my hair and nails done and take a few trips every now and then you know just a little lightweight stuff to me um I'm like okay I'm okay with that but any other like and I think if I was single, oh, excuse me, I would feel differently too. Like, I definitely feel like being single, but it's not like I'm relying, but it's just like I have like a fiance to fall back on a little bit. So that helps. But man, I don't know what I'm doing. Like this hair, it's no helping it. It's just even one. It's no helping at this point. Like I did the edges, like it's still a mess. I just hate being outside with my hair not done. And my job is like the restaurant is at like a, I guess like a, a seemingly popular place in the city. You know, that's short and work. There's people that are like, I'm just out here with my hair looking crazy. Irritated because I got to be here every fucking day. Like, what the fuck? It just won't happen again. I, I, I can't. I can't work that much. Like, no, absolutely not. Like, I can't do that. Like. And I'm just thinking, like, come Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I don't know what, what, what these um guests are going to be getting from me. Like, I don't know what they're going to be getting. I don't know what they're going to be giving. I, and I'm always, I'm just a nice person anyway. So that's why I'm like, okay, like, I'm just like, I'm not going to take my frustration out on nobody. Like, it's not my fault that I got to be here every fucking day. I mean, it's not, I mean, is it my fault? It's not the guest's fault that I got to be here every day. So I'm not about to be like a bitter, angry bitch, like, guest or nothing. But some people just be... I don't know, stupid, and I just be irritated with them. Like they're just dumb. So I don't know. Yep, I I don't know what I'm doing right now. 
I'm not a hair person, so when my hair starts getting old, and look at this, this part's starting to break off real bad. Like, it's time for me to take this hair saw out, because it's starting to break off. I'm not really, I don't really care when, when my hair starts breaking off because of leave out, because I know I'll grow back, and as long as, like, the main part of my hair is growing, like, there's barely any leave out, so having a few little strands look a little crusty, and go kill nobody. And I'm going to get some knotless braids after this. So, well, I'm going to get a silk press first. And then I'm going to get some knotless braids. So, it'll be braided up for a couple months. And then I'm going to get a sewing. So, that part of my hair is not going to be out. Probably for a very long time. If, unless I ever get a hairstyle like this again. Which, I don't see that happening for a very long time. Because pretty much after I get my knotless, I'm going to get a couple sewings. And then it's going to be time to start thinking about wedding hair. So, who knows how my hair is going to be for that. But... I still haven't thought about that. Like, it's gonna be hot as hell. It's gonna be Jamaica. Like, what do y'all think I should do? I don't want to wear a wig. I don't want to wear a wig. I don't want to be a wiggy bride. I just never wanted to do that. I've always had like a not a fantasy, but I've always imagined myself getting married with my real hair. If I wasn't getting married in Jamaica, that's what I would do. I wear my real hair, and then I would just get like some braids or something for the honeymoon. Like, I would have to have an appointment like the day after the wedding. Like, okay, honeymoon here, but. Uh, now that we're going to be in Jamaica, I don't know. And then I want to go to Vegas for my bachelorette trip. So I'm thinking like a hairstyle. Like I'm going to have to have hairstyles for all of that. So I really don't know. That's going to be a sticky situation. And it might just end up being some type of sewing and style. So we're just going to have to figure that out. But um, yeah, this is the best of the hair. So I have to look. I'm not about to go to work right now. So I'm going to go get dressed, find something to wear, to go vote. I need to put my sunscreen on and my deodorant. Where's my deodorant? hair all over me that's something this hair shed so bad i'm so sick of this shit i'll never never buy this hair again i got this at some hair store it was like a bundle but um i didn't have time to order no hair like i waited too long so i was like fuck it let me just go to the hair store grab a little bundle bundle or two i think it might only be two no i don't know if it's two or three and yeah this shit's terrible trash trash i would never buy this hair again I'd rather just not get my hair done. Honestly, I would just I would have canceled the appointment if I knew the hair was this bad and, and rescheduled. Cause this shit is garbage. Garbage. Like damn, y'all are really out there just selling garbage to people. Anyways, <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I just hope it's not packed at that voting place. I don't have time to be standing there all day. Like I really don't. But I'm probably gonna stand there. I think last time I went to vote, but this was like the midterm election. I think it was. I don't remember. I don't remember what election it was. But last time I went there to vote, it wasn't like the regular presidential election. I know that. It wasn't that one. The last time I voted, it was. Because that one I voted. I wanted to vote early too, but I just. It slipped my mind. It slipped my mind to go vote. And then I saw my sister post like a little. She doesn't even live in Ohio. And I saw her post like a little thing. And that's what reminded me like, oh, okay, you gotta go vote. So. Mm, but last time I was there. It was like an hour. We were sitting like for an hour with my boyfriend. But it was like a bigger election than this. This isn't really like, I don't think a lot of people want to show up. But they've been seeing on the news, it's been like record numbers. So like people showing up and showing out. And basically, I don't know. All the people in line look like they were going to be voting the opposite of me. So I'm like, you know what? Let me go. Because it's really not an issue that I'm too worried about. But I just think it'll be. Because I'm, I don't know. It's not an issue really for me, but just for like other women and I just feel like I need to go out there and vote. So okay, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna wear. What do I wanna wear for this TikTok? What do I wanna wear for work? I don't know. That's like I'm done buying like um trendy pieces and stuff like that for a while. Like I need to get my like staple wardrobe. What's the word? I need to get that together because all these patterns and colors and shit like I like you know a little color pop of color here and there but this it's just hard for me to get dressed every day so I'm like what the fuck none of this shit matches none of this stuff goes together I just need more neutrals like I'm always been like that I love browns and like white well no I just really love browns I've never really been into like white or black but I like white but I just never can have like a 
like a white shirt because my bra always shows through it and then black is like slimming so I've been like growing to love that and then for the TikTok they said no low cut shirts so I don't know maybe I should just have like a simple top on it like nothing too crazy I don't really want to distract from the video either so I don't want nothing too crazy this shirt is so cute but I don't have nothing to go with it it's kind of cropped but it's not totally cropped I mean nowadays everything's like this so nowadays this is a regular shirt everything be cropped and when you got big boobs the more crop some becomes because you're just taking up fabric on your chest that's why I'm not a really big fan of crop tops because they just come become bras on me they become bras damn I don't feel like going oh my god I don't feel like going to work if I could just come back and like focus and work like film this tiktok edit it post it today this is kind of cute I might wear this little bodysuit. Like, that would be great. But I don't have time to focus on anything. Like, that is just, like... I almost didn't even want to vlog. Because I'm like, what's the point? Like, I'm just going to be working all week. Like, this is stupid. Nobody wants to see that. But I'm just going to do it. I'm going to try. I'm just, like, really irritated. Um, this is also the last week, I think, is before his son starts school. So, he'll start coming over every weekend. Which is, like, yeah... I'll have my week, I have my middle of the weeks kind of back to myself, which is kind of nice. But I mean, it was only every other week. It wasn't like it was all the time. But, um, not every weekend it's going to be like. So that's why I was like, you know what? I'm about to change my schedule and I'm about to just work on the weekends because it ain't nothing to really do. And I, I don't work during the week no more. So I can just kind of like relax, work, like have house myself, be able to like, and it's not like he bothers me or nothing, but it's just like. You know, when you're trying to vlog and, like, talk to the camera and do shit around and not just him. That's why I'm, like, during the week. Like, even my boyfriend, like, when he be working from home and shit, like, oh, Lord. So, I just prefer to be by myself. I prefer to be by myself than to be with someone else while I'm, like, trying to record and stuff. So, I'm hoping I'll be able to focus. And I'll still be home, like, when my boyfriend gets off work and stuff. And, yeah, so. Or I could wear a pink top. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I think I some jeans. Maybe I'll just wear these. But the I just like this gives like I like when you wear like army fatigue pants. Like I, I you can't wear a nude top because it's it's really giving army. It's really giving like you're about to go off to deployment. Like are you part of the army or not? So I feel like this with like pink would be cute though. I'm just trying to find something I can wear to work. I mean it's like it's like a chill spot. It's not like a fancy place. So that's one good thing about it. Is that I don't have to really like dress up too crazy. Because the other restaurant you kind of have to like dress up a little more. But this is like real chill. Like that's what I do. Like I think I'm going to wear this. Um, I'm trying to think. What shoes? I can wear my pink dunks. Yeah we're going to do that. Those shoes are very uncomfortable to wear to work. But I'm, I, I'm not working that long. I should be off around like 9 o'clock only like five hours like the shifts be short but it's like when you have a shift from three to three thirty to nine o'clock okay your night is like you get home around nine thirty. i live uh, i really get home around like nine twenty. i don't really get home that late but it's just like okay around two o'clock your day's over you guys are getting ready for work if you wake up at i try to wake up early but it's getting hard especially when you get home from work so late and you're like damn i didn't get to do nothing today i want to enjoy some part of my day so i stay up late but anyway so i woke up today around like eight and just like laid around like i was just tired and i've just been so exhausted so i just laid around <sighs> and then i didn't start really getting ready it's like 10 o'clock and i was like 11 it's like okay how much can i get done in three hours before i have to go to work before I start getting ready for work. But at least I got my clothes picked out. Get my shower worked away. Get my skincare done. My hair is done. So all I really got to do is um, get up and go. But it's just like I don't have time to do anything in three hours. I'm going to have to go vote. Which is going to take who the hell knows how long. I wanted to go before like lunchtime. And then come film this TikTok. Which I don't think will take me too long. But I have to come back and do my makeup. Because I'm not about to do a makeup TikTok bare face. Like no. <sighs> so I have to do that and then I'm not gonna have time to edit it and sometimes at work I'll try to edit videos but it's just so hard like it's loud in there and people are constantly coming in people are constantly like which is I don't know which of course they are of course they're constantly coming in but it's just like it's hard for me to do I can't do anything else when I'm standing up there so 
yeah I'm just over it I don't know what I'm gonna do and I like I really one thing about the job too I like I like my discount like my discount it's pretty good it's pretty good so there's like a lot of different restaurants I can use it at I love my discount like I use my discount <sighs> anyways let me just put these clothes on real quick let me stop like lally gagging around and getting my day like that's like I just be wanting to have slow days that's not I know I said I was gonna I like slow days like I like getting a lot of shit done but I like taking my time and I like just not stressing out about it and I feel like when I do that things just come together so much better except for when I'm like like oh I gotta get this done, gotta get this done. it's like I don't like feeling like that I want to have my whole day to just be like okay I'm gonna do this, this, this and even when I do have whole days it's like I gotta get this done because I work every other the next day I'm sick of being like that. Like, I haven't even had time to clean my house. Like, my house is a mess. My boyfriend's been cooking every night. Like, I don't like that. I just really don't like that. Like, I can't be doing this shit. <sighs> okay, so this is how it kind of turned out. I hate the outfit, but I just got to go. I don't have time to be changing. I don't have time for anything. So, I'm going to go vote real quick. And then while I'm voting, I'm going to be thinking about how I want to do this TikTok. Because I really haven't put much thought into it yet. They're talking about, too, that it's due within five days of receiving the package. Like, hello? When I uh, signed up for the campaign, it said to August 31st. And I was five days from receiving the package. Like, um, okay. But whatever. I'm actually going to... I do want to just get it done and out the way, but... I would have been happy to do it this week if I didn't have to fucking work every day. But it's just, like, impossible. Because <laughs> who works six days a week? Who does that? No one else at the restaurant. I'm gonna be, I'm really gonna be in a shitty mood all week. That's another thing I didn't want to follow because it's literally what I'm gonna talk about because that shit really pisses me off. Like, I don't really care who goes on vacation. I don't care who's taking the day off. That's not my problem. Like, I only work three or four shifts a week. Y'all wanna schedule me seven? Like, that's, no. I don't care if someone takes off or not. Like, figure it out. You can't schedule me seven shifts because someone has to go. Like, I just pulled up. I'll just go in there and go boat real quick. Hopefully, this line is long. The parking lot's not really all that packed. And I mean, a lot of people are probably still at work and stuff. So, we're just going to go in there and hopefully get out really fast. We just got done. Look at the edges. Look how the edges don't last. But, anyways just got done so it's only like 12 49 so i should be getting home around noon like i want it i'm gonna eat something like a little tv dinner and then i'm going to start doing this tiktok i still haven't decided if i want to do like a voiceover sorry i'm on my phone too i didn't bring my camera i still haven't decided if i want to do like a voiceover if i want to talk during it i kind of just want to talk but sometimes voiceovers come out better and i can film it faster if i do a voiceover too so I'm just trying to think how I want to do it. So I think I probably would just do a voiceover, like whatever. Do that really quick. And then what do I have to do after that? I mean, if I could edit it, that would be cool. But I think I'm going to just start putting some of my new stuff away. Like, and show y'all some of the stuff that I've been buying. And that's really just going to be it. Then I got to go to work. That's like, no, nothing productive gets done ever. So, <sighs> so frustrating. Okay, so I got back from voting. I'm about to eat this. I'm going to try to show y'all my food without showing because I don't got no, um, I'm just running a bar right now. Eat this real quick. Just a little sh shrimp scampi TV dinner from Michael Angelo or something like that. And then I just had a cup of true fruit that I'm going to like thaw a little bit before I eat it. So yeah, I'm going to eat that. And then while I'm doing that, I'm going to look at the brief, I guess you could call it a brief contract, whatever, for the TikTok before I start filming to make sure everything's, you know, my ideas are good and everything and then we're gonna start doing that so yeah it's like noon 12 15 right now so by the time i get done hopefully it won't be too late and i can just still kind of relax or maybe even start filming the voiceover and stuff so we'll see my makeup's done i'm dressed let me put my camera up i'm dressed i'm actually just gonna film it downstairs because i wanted like a plain black not black a plain blank black ground I just hope the lighting is okay. I think it looks decent. Yeah, my hair is not done. I know it needs to be done so bad. But my appointment is until next Tuesday. I put on, I just put on like this little black tank top from Walmart and this necklace from Marshalls or TZ Maxx that I got forever ago. So I'm gonna sit here, let me see. Oh, these chairs are cool. I think this looks okay. 
my, it's just my hair that I'm like so irritated about. Like it looks so bad. I just, I keep just looking at it, but I guess on camera it doesn't look that bad. But um, yeah, and I had to put some press ones on because you can kind of see my nail design under them. I don't know, can y'all see them? Maybe not. But um, I don't have a nail appointment. Well, I didn't have one until August 29th. But I had to end up canceling that one too because I made my hair appointment for the same day at the same time. And ugh, for my braids, not my next hair appointment on Tuesday, but I have another hair appointment on the 29th. So I'm just like, okay, let me just cancel it and then we'll just figure it out. So even that was a long time, the 29th. Like she's always so, so, so booked up. I haven't had my nails done since, I don't know, maybe even June. I don't know, but um, we're just gonna be rocking press ons. And so I'm gonna, I was gonna go get them done somewhere, but I'm like, you know what? I just like the way she does them, number one. Like, she doesn't, I have a little bit of gel left over. Like, I don't want nobody to hurt me trying to take that gel off. These people do not care. They are super rough. And I just like her. And I don't know. I just want to go to her to get my nails done. I don't want to go anywhere else. So, we're going to do that. And then I'm just going to film this really fast. It's 2.04. So, I really have to, like, rush. And I really didn't want to have to do that. But that's the life I live. Um, working a whole bunch of hours that I never asked to work or never wanted to work or never told them that they should schedule me for, but here we are. So I'm going to get this out the way and then I'm going to try to edit it tonight or in the morning tomorrow. So yeah, let me go ahead and get started. I'm going to film with the front camera, but I really don't want to do the back. Like I want to be able to see myself. So I'm hoping the lighting and everything will still look good. Does my hair just look so bad? Mm, do I like the white light? I don't know. Let me move it back a little bit, I think. Ow! Ow, 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 that hurt. Okay. I'm gonna do some, like, of course, try on shots, and then I'm gonna do some, um, like, picture shots. I don't know. Picture shots. Product shots. Uh, I don't know. My makeup is looking really good on camera. I just wish the camera was a little bit higher. So I can put this on top if you're Ooh. Okay, that looks better. Oh, my back is itching. Am I crooked? Because I feel crooked. Hmm. Okay, shoot. It's like two o'clock in the morning. I'm so tired, but I don't know. When I get off work really late, it's hard for me. Not really late, but I can't even at like 9.30, so I've been up for like five hours. So I'm about to go to bed, but I wanted to warm up some more food because I'm like hungry. I've been home. It's two o'clock in the morning. I'm eating pasta. My house a mess. I still got to make a one. Like, this just might be like a, I don't know what to call this vlog, just like my life's a mess vlog, because that's how I feel. I haven't been eating like healthy, I haven't been working out, I haven't been posting, I've been spending money I don't need to be spending, like I've just been all over the place. And I don't like like having, having habits like that, like I like to try to stay on top of myself, but it's just when I, going back to having to work every single day and like at an odd time, it completely is like throwing me off and I just like can't even like function honestly like I don't even know what to do right now but I think what I'm gonna do before I go to bed and take my makeup off while I'm eating this is I'm gonna show you all the stuff that I got from Home Goods and some of the stuff I got from Amazon lately pretty much stuff from the weekend today's Tuesday because I don't know how I can't tell y'all my boyfriend broke the um toilet paper thing the whole throw it's like a hard ceramic thing too like i don't know how anybody could manage to break that without really trying like just bumping into it i don't understand how the thing was off maybe i'll answer a picture of it maybe i won't but um it's broken it's been broken forever too like a new teapot when we move like last year almost now I didn't bring the old teapot with me and nothing was really wrong with it. Honestly, I probably should have just kept it, but I was just in like, I want all new stuff, I want all this stuff. 
next thing I got was like really random. It was like the first thing I saw when I walked in the store. And I just like gravitated to it for some reason. But you guys are from like, ew, that's fucking gross. But whatever. Is this like a scalp massager thing? I think that's what it is. That's what I'm going to use it for. But just look at like the little pricklies on it. Like that just looks like it would feel so good. And I like that they're not too long. Because I feel like, like the ones that are really long, um, tangle up my hair. So I, they feel good, but I would never use them because they just like make my hair go tangle. I feel like this won't tangle it up as much. I like it was only a dollar. Or these like little, these lounge shorts. A like Juicy Couture. I thought these were cute and nostalgic and... Mm, looks like the lore. These chamoy gum bears. These are pretty good. I've tried so many different brands of these. So the next thing I got were these new wine glasses. I've been wanting some new wine glasses with the stem on it. Just because I've had the ones I've had for so long. And, oh, I just want to really want them. This is a set of four. And my other wine glasses, I think I only have two. Anyway, so I got four. A little mug. It's a tea mug. I mean, I guess you could take this piece out. I use it for coffee, which is still cute. Because you could just like put the lid on. I just use it for regular coffee. But it has like the tea diffuser part in it. Yeah, this one I no price it is. Huh? This is so 99. I actually saw a mug just like this on Amazon, like the day after I bought this, like randomly. And it was like $20. I think that I got a lot of kitchen stuff, but it's okay. I needed stuff, stuff for the kitchen. So I got a walk. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. I just like, I feel like a lot of times this would just like come in handy. So I got the Cord Cos RX. I don't know how to pronounce it. But I've been seeing these a lot on like TikTok. This is a stain brand that does like the snail mousse in. Look at this dish. Ah, my counters are cold. It's on my belly. Look at this dish. Isn't that just so beautiful? I just love it. The colors. Like you could, this is like an all year round. Like you can use this all year round and it's just gonna be beautiful. Are you kidding? And it comes with a little spoon. I'm scared I'm gonna choke. Oh, it's so pretty though. Like you can't tell me this isn't pretty. I'm not gonna take it apart right now. But y'all are just gonna have to get, you're gonna just have to see it like this. This is so pretty. I like to just have, I think these, same with like my arm wrist things, which I have four pairs. Well, I can't find two of them. The headband gets a little dirty too. And this one has like a little bow. So I guess you can like put your hair in like a ponytail on the back if you're supposed to. Or I guess if you didn't want to, you could just have the bow show. I just like the colors and like the design on it. It was just giving real 60s vibes. Um, I thought it was pretty. Okay. I got some more Vina palettes. I got four, two, and three. Two, three, and four. I think they have up to six. I don't know which ones are on the Sephora site. I just looked to which ones are on the Sephora site and which ones aren't, but I got two, three, and six. I mean, two, three, four. And these were $16.99 each. These are $60 each on the Sephora website. It's like ice cube trays. I was talking about in the last vlog, like how, I don't know, one of the vlogs. My ice in my refrigerator is disgusting because it is. So I bought like the ice cube trays. You know, it's just going to take a little ball. You can cover them up. I'm just going to use like purified water and cover it up. Crease my ice cubes like that because I can't. So anyway, so let's just get back into the rest of the Amazon stuff. So I finally got air state. I mean, most people know this from the TikTok shop for sure, but... It's not that sticky. It feels really heavy. Dude. They had a glass one, which is my room one. So I'm really, I'm just tired of plastic. Like, I just really wanted the glass one, but that one was like seventy dollars. I'm just not in the business right now. I'd be spending seventy dollars on a towel spinner. This one was thirty, and to me that was already pricey. But that's that Olexo brand. But this one, it feels really durable, and I, I don't see this not lasting me. So I'm really happy. It's so loud. I would demonstrate for y'all, but I'm not trying to wake up the whole block. The next thing I got is this overnight bag. What does this look like? This looks like the um the bases base. I think that's how you see it. I don't know. The dupe for that, which I really wanted that one too. I still might get it, but I just needed an overnight bag. I haven't had an overnight bag since 
forever well i actually do have one but i got it i remember in 2012 and i've just been using like my boy look i'm wearing christmas dreams this is a hot mess vlog hot mess um i've been using my boyfriend's overnight bag which is like his high school basketball bag the man is 35 i don't know if it yeah i might just made that up but, it's high, but i think it is like his high school basketball bag so no it was hard to make a bag i don't know what's worse my boyfriend's high school basketball duffel bag or my Victoria's Secret pink all sequined duffel bag. I don't know. Anyways, let's move on to more Amazon stuff. So I finally got some of these, which is what I've been wanting for so long that I feel like everyone should have in their house. Um, I just have like a fear of everything. Like I'm scared of everything. I'm, I'm the most scary person ever. So I bought these to keep one in the kitchen. I'm going to keep one in our bedroom. I'm going to give his son one to keep in his bedroom too. They're just like these little mini fire extinguishers. You just never know. So I'm going to have one. And I, I don't know why I didn't get four. Like one for my bedroom. I don't know. I just couldn't think it straight. But um, yeah. So I got three of those. And I, yeah. So I'm going to have to get one more. The next was like the most basic bitch decor item you can find. How to use beads. Everybody in the mom I have these. And I finally got me some. I still like them. I still think they're cute. I don't care if y'all think they're dated or not. Um, I just like what I like, so I think I'm lucky right now that what I like is actually kind of in trend. Cause sometimes that don't happen, but I just gotta be me. So everybody has these. I don't remember how much these were, maybe like 10 bucks, 15 bucks. Probably too much. I probably could have found these cheaper somewhere else, but <sighs> I bought a lot of like decor pieces to go on this new like cabinet that I bought from Amazon too. That hopefully will be coming soon. So yeah. Next I got were these little straw toppers. I bought these for my stamp. No, not just my stamp. Any cup. Any cup with a straw. Because when you're just out in public carrying your cup around like and your straw is just open to the elements. I don't know, it could just run into bump into so many things. I just that just grosses me out and it's been grossing me out. So this is like a need. A lot of the stuff I bought was a need. Um like the fire extinguishers, the salad spinner, like I've been having wet ass salad for so long. Um the air stick like my tripod has been terrible i actually did buy a new tripod oh i forgot that i did buy a new tripod too so it's not very exciting next i got the strainer the reason i originally got this was because i didn't think i could strain with the salad maker salad maker oh salad spinner i didn't think i could but you can but i'm still gonna use this because it honestly doesn't hurt to have i don't know if to always pull out that big bulky heavy ass salad spinners and this is very lightweight how long this is gonna last i don't know but it, i mean it's not terrible it's pretty durable but um also another reason this is good this is actually really for rinsing rice which i try to rinse my rice but it's really hard when you don't have something like this so to make it just a little bit less starchy i can't rinse my rice in the salad thing so but i do have like a uh, over the sink type thing i can do it on but i never really do but i feel like this would just make it so much easier so yeah Okay, the last thing I got for Amazon was this vase. I think this is really pretty. It, it actually is prettier in person than I thought. Like the color and the, like the lines. And it just feels like, it's kind of like fake. I don't know. I just actually really like this. I think this is really nice. I forget how much it was, but I know it wasn't too much. It wasn't too crazy expensive because it's, that's just not me. But I just think this is beautiful. I really like this. I would put flowers in here or something. I would. I really like this vase. Like this is pretty. Like I said, I bought a lot of new decor items for the shelf. The shelf isn't really like a bookshelf or nothing. I'm trying to decorate very hard, but it does have like a an open space. And I'm just gonna put a few things there, but mostly I bought this shelf for storage because I have so many things that just have no home here. And it's just starting to like take over. So I bought like that to have more storage space. I don't have a basement or anything like that, which I wish we did. But in our garage, we only have a one car garage. So it's very small. Look how cute these are. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. They had um, one in the middle of these, but I just didn't think I needed three, so I got the tall one and the big one. It's cute though, I'm actually liking it. It's this little vase right here. And I like it because like, it has all those brown speckles in it, which is beautiful. I feel like there are pieces like this, but the brown speckles aren't as prevalent and it's like shiny up top and then it's like a line right here where it gets kind of like dull. I just like this. I think this is really cute. I did order some pictures as well. Besides the ones that I'm going to make, I ordered some. But they're just like actual photographs. So I wanted to do like a 
I don't know, it's a gallery hall, but it's like a very structured gallery hall. Like I was going to do nine pictures, three rows of three, and they were just going to be, I think they're 12, 20 by 20. I have a really big wall in here that I need to fill. I've had this vision for it ever since. So I ordered some pictures for that. So it's going to be nine of those. So 20 by 20. And then the, there's a 16 by 16 mat in them. So I got 16 by 16 photos. I really wanted like a was it eight by five mat like i really wanted them to be very small because i really wanted to get that clean minimalistic type of look we're gonna try to do this because it was cheaper but if i don't like it i'm gonna order those small mats and i'm gonna order some small pictures and we're gonna do that if it's just if i feel like it's too busy and i got all the pictures in black and white they're all in black and white so i just really wanted to have like i'm just not big on like pictures of people around my house so i'm like i think this will be a cute way to kind of bring like the homey feel and the feel of that big wall and another thing like we don't have a lot of pictures with all three of us in them like with me my boyfriend and his son and I, don't, I want him to feel of course like included in like the thing so I only have one picture with all three of us in it and I'm gonna put that one in the middle and then I think there's like two other pictures with him I don't have a lot of pictures of him at all you know little boys aren't really like big on like taking pictures like that so it's kind of like unless you force them and I'm just not in the business of doing that. If his daddy ain't gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not his mama. So, but I would like more pictures of all of us. So, but whatever. Like, it's just gonna be three of them with him in there. And then one of them doesn't even have our face in it. It's just like me and him holding hands, like our hands. So, but whatever. I mean, shit, it's still. I mean, it's kind of like a love wall for me and him. Because even if I had some kids. They wouldn't y'all look on that wall probably like that it's, it's not really given that kind of vibe anyway so anyways i'm just ranking but yeah so there's just a lot of like little projects that i'm trying to do around here um that's i'm like i haven't had time to even put none of this stuff away so that's why i'm like i'm gonna do it now i'm gonna put some of these things away and then i'm gonna head brush my teeth take this makeup off and go to bed